A charming day to watch the water, is it not, my lady? Oh, yes, of course it is. Very quiet in its way, good for moments where you need to think. And the maiden goddess does have much to consider. You have done very well taking the place of the beloved mother Morrowind. You must have many things on your mind. Yes, many things, Lord Dren. Duke Dren, actually. A terribly sad accident has befallen my brother and his daughter. You have always been very ambitious, so I am sure you will find this new title useful in that way. And some ambitions are more ruthless than others, is the veiled statement you seem to be making. Maybe. Tell me, what have you come to speak to me for? To tell me of plans you have for me like everyone else I know? You are the daughter of a god, and you come of a great house. It is in your family's nature to make such plans for your future. But you aren't just thinking of your family, are you? Perhaps Lady Azura is voicing her displeasure. My father, Lady Azura, Lord Vivek, even, and I'm sure you want to have some hand in it too. Father read me your letter, I can only assume... It is only a possibility, my lady. Only a possibility. One who does not offer for things cannot hope to receive them. And I find you superior to all other options for brides that I have. None come close to you, in beauty, in mind, in vengefulness. I didn't think that would be something you liked about me. Of course. Did you think I expected you to be some blushing maiden with no care beyond your silks and your jewels, who never said a cross word to me? Quite the opposite. For me, to know you is to pit myself against one who is nearly impossible to catch, and that little combat of ours has been very... stimulating. You know that as long as you keep slaves, I would never accept you, so... What are you trying to accomplish here? Perhaps you haven't yet heard. The king plans to eliminate slavery. This is the first I'm hearing about it. The king should really have sent a letter. Perhaps he wants the glory of appearing as the savior of the slaves all for himself. That title should really go to you. After all, you have spent most of your young life helping them escape. I would like you to imagine what would be said, should I release all of my slaves and say it was due to the influence of the Maiden of Morrowind, the Lady of Mercy? I could just continue to free them on my own. You couldn't stop me from doing that, or from eliminating you. You could do that, yes, but you have the reputation of House Dagoth to maintain. You can't really think that alone will make up for that I would accept you? I can see the times changing, and I am capable of changing with them. I don't ask to be accepted right away. All I ask is that you allow yourself to be courted. And I could further sweeten this for you. I was in Ebonheart when that Almalexia pretender burned the Argonian mission, and I am well aware of each and every one of those who should have acted in regards to stopping her. I can give you their names, my sweet lady Nerevar. I could even give you their heads if you would prefer. Ah, oh, my father tells me vengeance is a poison that will only lead to my doom, though... Oh, who said that your father had to know? <laughs> 